Yo, what's up guys? It's time to do some more trading at Trade Hangout. We actually made a ton of big trades. I was able to trade a Valkyrie Helm, I was able to trade a Dominus, and a few other pretty big trades. So let's get straight into the trades and let me show you. Send me for his Dominus Vesp. I'm very interested in his Dominus Vesp. I think I would be, I would be very happy if I can get it. It'd be a pretty crazy upgrade, so I would love to get that. You guys hear me? Why can't I move? So your top three. So basically he wants me to send my top three items. So the Dominus Prefectus, the WC Garnets, and the Poison Horns, plus a small for the Dominus Prefectus. So that would be over 900K for the Dominus Vest, which right now is sitting at about 860K. So about like a 40K op for it. Um, We're definitely gonna take this though. That's an easy win. We'll take the, the free five, 600 win. I'm gonna wait for this guy to send me his Vesp. Ooh, 54. I feel like this is a lot. All right, yeah, I don't really wanna add Wistful to this cause like my items are pretty good. Prey is getting good overpay, so is Poison Horns and Garnet. Doesn't get too many offers, but when it does, it gets good trade, so. So right now, Prey is getting about 40K ops and the Poison Horns are getting about like 25K. I don't know if I could do this one. I think Vesp is getting about like 80K normally, but with my items, I definitely can't give that much. I don't know if I should do it or not. To be honest, I'm probably gonna keep my items, not get the vest, but I feel like my items are probably gonna go up, especially for Christmas time. So I'll just wait and keep my items for now. My items are doing too good right now. Yeah, my items are really good. I don't think it's really worth it. I'd rather just wait. I mean, if I get vest, that'd be cool, but maybe for a better deal. This trade is really good, actually. Crazy about 10,000, some Robux, oh yeah. Oh yeah, like the Kool-Aid man. That's a good trade though. 1K win basically. You're a donut. You're so stupid. You're so stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> Dumb. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this guy's clockwork headphone tings. Let's see, let's see how much he wants for it. Well, broccoli man. 80K. I, I think clockworks are getting about like 80K right now. This is like very shady. Bro, in the, it took me into the alleyway in the corner, dark area that nobody is. I don't know what this guy's gonna do to me. I we have Messi behind me. I don't know what this guy's saying, honestly. I'm just gonna laugh and pretend like I'm understanding what he's saying. I need to get out of here. I don't know. I'm I'm just scared, honestly. I need to get out of there. No big trades again today. It's all good though. Prefectus. He sent me 32. Playful Vamp, Valken, Silver King. Like, Prey is about to go up. I don't know if I want to get rid of it now. You know what I'm saying? All right, so he sent me a new trade. I think we take this, though. Right? Am I wrong? This trade is amazing, is it not? Valk, Silver King of the Night, Playful Vampire, and Take a Chance for Prey. I see Prey is getting like, like 40 to 50 with decent items, but not amazing items. But I'm getting Valk, Silver King of the Night, Playful, Take a Chance for a 56K overpay on Prey. That's a big W. That's a big W for sure. Finally, we complete actually a big trade and one that's really good too. I think that was a, that was a great trade right there. Finally, highly wanted the failed trader did something good for once in his life. But yeah, I got this trade though. So it's Valk for a Blue Wistful Wink, Silver King of the Night. I'm winning about 12K. I'm, I'm like almost 100% sure Valk is way better than Silver King right now. For a 12K overpay though, that, that might be worth it. Yeah, it looks like Valk is about to raise, so. But it looks like the guy got it anyway. So someone else took it. I can't take it even if I wanted to. Oh, this guy added more Robux to this trade. So it's Violet Starry Sight for two Silverthorn Antlers. And what is that, 500 Robux? It's a decent downgrade. I mean, Silverthorn is pretty good as well. Uh, I think we'll take the downgrade, honestly. We'll take the downgrade. For a 400 win, why not? And Silverthorn, I could probably get a good upgrade with it too. So I'm happy with that one, actually. Sparkle Time Happy Time Magic Flower Hat. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Happy Time. Wait, Sparkle Time, Happy Time, Magic Flower Hat. Um, could I send? I'm not really interested in the item. He asked me if I want it. How is he going to expect me to send him the trade on it? Come on, broski. Wait, oh, he, okay. I don't even, okay. I mean, I'll take it. Uh, Sparkle Time, Traffic Cone. We gave Playful and Freckle Cheeks. Freckle Cheeks is absolutely trash. Uh, Playful is pretty good, but um, I'm, I'm happy with Sparkle Time, uh, Traffic Cone. I feel like this item is always pretty good. Last time I had it, I got some really good trades on it. See, so this one is Wistful for Legit and Big Head. I'll counter this one. Yeah, give me that. And instead of 500, 750. 
That might be a lot, but whatever. I'll just send it. See what he says to that. This guy actually, wow, he actually accepted this. So we downgraded Wistful for a legit big head. Recycle cardboard and uh, 750 Robux. I know Wistful probably will raise, but I feel like legit is going to raise too, honestly. Legit is getting at least like 1 to 1.5k. Uh, I think this is a great trade. Good downgrade for Wistful. We got legit. Let's see. So this one is legit for Black Iron Commando, Black Iron Antlers, Sinister, Skull of Roblox, and 250 Robux. I mean, these are some good items. I just need a little bit more Robux. Give me like 333 and we'll, we'll have a deal. We'll shake on it on 333. This guy accepted though. We got the 1.5k win. We got some good items. I know legit is doing really good right now. You just said that it's in discussion. I have faith in these items to go up too. I think they might go up just as, as much as legit. And I'm getting a pretty good win here. So uh, I, I believe, I believe, I believe that we will win. But first we got to check out this trade. So green was for win, camo commando, take a chance for crown of nachos, drill sergeant, Turbo Builders Club and Saber Egg. Like, I don't, I really don't know why I like this trade, but I'm gonna counter though. And we'll take off the, take a chance, we'll take off the Turbo Builders Club and we'll send just a little bit more. This guy accepted my trade though. So we gave Green Whistle Wink and Camo Face for the Crown of Nachos, the Drill Sergeant, and the Saber Boss Egg. That's pretty good though. 3.5k overpay on Green Whistle is, is, is really good, I feel like. That's, that's a good downgrade light right there. I like that. I definitely haven't shown my actual value in a long time. And to be honest, that's because my value has literally been the same. If you look at my value from February 6th of 2022 and you look at my value now, it's only gone up by about 50K. So it's been pretty much the same over the last year. But actually over the past week, it's gone up a decent amount. We were at 1,495,000. Now we're at 1,550,000. So we've gone up a little bit. Here are the items that we're ending off with. We have the WC Ultimate Garnets, the Poison Horns, the Valkyrie Helm, Silver King the Knight, Sparkle Time Traffic Cone, Blizzaria, Dark Seed, Grim Glow, and a bunch of other small items. I definitely think that we were extremely successful this episode. We made some really good trades, especially that downgrade for Prey. I feel like that trade was amazing, especially to get the Valkyrie Helm Silver King, which I think will go up a lot for Christmas time. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.